Hey guys and welcome back to Xbox On, it's Bex and Henry here and today we've got an awesome bit of news for you. Xbox Cloud Gaming is launching today for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members in 22 countries with over 150 games, which is massive. But in case you're not sure exactly why or how to take advantage of this brilliant Game Pass feature, in this video we'll talk you through absolutely everything you need to know. Starting with the obvious question. You might have previously known it as Project X Cloud, but Xbox Cloud Gaming basically does what it says on the tin. It lets you play Xbox games on the cloud. Not the fluffy, is it just me or does that one look like a dancing hippopotamus kind, but the connecting to remote servers kind. The important thing is, it means you're able to stream Xbox One quality games over Wi-Fi or a mobile network right to your Android phone or tablet, so you can basically take your console around with you in your pocket or your backpack without having to literally do that. Better yet, you don't need to own these games or have ever played them before. As long as you have an active Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, they're yours to play wherever and whenever you like. In fact, you don't even need to own an Xbox full stop. So if you're yet to dip a toe into the console waters or maybe you're waiting for Series X or S later this year, Xbox Cloud Gaming is a great way of accessing some of the brilliant titles in the Game Pass library and you'll get all the benefits of playing on Xbox, such as achievements, parties, voice chat, the works. And if you have played these games, then you'll be happy to hear that all of your saves and unlocks will carry over, whether you're playing on console or mobile and back again. So you're free to hop between devices without losing a moment of progress. Well, and we should probably talk about multiplayer because it's pretty awesome in its own right. You'll be able to play with friends whether they're also playing on the cloud or on their console. And if the games support crossplay on Xbox One, you'll be able to play with PC gamers too. Just imagine the possible combos. A couple of phones, a laptop and a TV and you could gather a whole galleon's worth of mates to turn Sea of Thieves into a couch co-op experience or carry out your next Destiny 2 strike in the park, or whatever you fancy, basically. So that should give you an idea of a couple of the games you can play. But before we dig into the full list, there's one that deserves a special shout out, Minecraft Dungeons, which has been specially reimagined for this service. See, to play most of the games, you're going to need a controller. We'll come back to that in a moment. But for Minecraft Dungeons, Mojang have developed dedicated touch controls along with a redesigned UI to make the game work perfectly on the smaller screen. And because no two mobile devices are alike, the controls can even be customized to suit your setup and your thumbs. And when crossplay comes to Minecraft Dungeons later this year, you'll be able to team up with fellow dungeon crawlers on PC and even other consoles right from your phone. But as we've mentioned already, this is just the beginning of the long, long list of games you can play with Xbox Cloud Gaming starting, in most cases, right now. The full list has just been revealed and it's got 172 games on it. And according to Kareem Chowdhury, VP of Cloud Gaming at Microsoft, what you'll see on day one is just the beginning. Over time, we'll continue to innovate and add more games that you want. The list spans the whole spectrum, from hidden gems like Hollow Knight and Slay the Spire, to the very biggest blockbusters. Hello Halo, G'day Gears. You've got older classics and shiny new releases, including some games that have just dropped in the past month, like Wasteland 3, Tell Me Why and Spirit Fader. We can't go through all of them here, it'll take all day, but we've got a few suggestions of games and places you could play. How about grounded in the back garden, peering down at your feet to see if you can spot the tiny people running around building bases? Or even untitled goose game, if you don't mind the risk of summoning the goose. If you happen to live in Edinburgh or the Peak District, why not fire up Forza Horizon 4 and see if you can find the spot you're currently stood gaming on? Or Resident Evil 7 Biohazard literally anywhere except a dark, dank cabin in the woods. Let us know which combinations you're experimenting with down in the comments. And we said you could play most of these 172 games right now, which means there's also a few we've already got to look forward to as well, such as Destiny 2, which is coming to Game Pass and Cloud Gaming alike on the 22nd of September, with the Shadowkeep and Forsaken expansions included. And also on the coming soon list, you'll find indie bangers Katana Zero and Night in the Woods, plus Fantasy Pest Control Simulator, Warhammer Vermintide 2. 
We'll keep you updated with all the latest additions as they arrive, so make sure you subscribe to Xbox On and hit that notification bell. Okay, so at this point, you're about ready to dive in. So we should probably talk about how just to do that. Well, the first thing to do is make sure you're in one of the 22 countries where Xbox Cloud Gaming is supported. If you're here in the UK or Ireland or over the pond in the US and Canada, you're good to go. And a ton of European countries are supported too. You can find the full list down in the description. If your country isn't on it, don't worry too much, the service is going to keep growing. This is technically a beta launch, Kareem says to ensure stability as we scale the feature to millions of gamers globally. But if you are in one of those countries, the next question is, do you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate? And only you can answer that one, really. If you're not an Ultimate subscriber, it's worth knowing that it's super cheap to sign up for, and it's as easy as going to xbox.com forward slash xbox dash game dash pass. So you've got your subscription ticked off. Nice one. Next up is hardware and the device you need to play it on. So that's an Android phone or tablet running Android 6.0 or higher. Given that update's been around since 2015, chances are that you do. Just check the settings on your phone or tablet. And then you'll need a controller to play it with. Any standard Bluetooth compatible Xbox One wireless controller will sort you out here. Or if you fancy something specifically designed for mobile gaming, well, we'll get to those options in a second. But once you've ticked off all these questions, it's just a case of turning on the device, connecting to the controller, and downloading the new and updated Xbox Game Pass app from the Google Play Store or Samsung Galaxy Store, and you're away. Okay, so we mentioned controller options designed specifically for Xbox Cloud Gaming there. You've got plenty of options thanks to the new designed for Xbox line of mobile gaming accessories. Razer is making a special Xbox version of its award-winning Kishi controller, putting all those familiar buttons on either side of the mobile screen, including an integrated Xbox button, and clickable analog thumbsticks, as well as pass-through charging for your smartphone while you play. For a more old-school experience, there's the SN30 Pro from 8BitDo. It might look retro, but it's a positively futuristic gaming experience with customizable button mapping and stick and trigger sensitivity. And then Power A have a whole host of options, from clips that'll let you mount your phone on your current Xbox One controller, and the MOGA XP5X Plus and XP7X Plus controllers, which have the mounts built in. And if you're between phones right now, or the idea of having a shiny new big screen to play on it makes you fancy an upgrade, if you buy a new Samsung Galaxy device and select the gaming bundle at purchase, it'll come with three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Power A's XP5X Plus controller included. Nice. So as we've said, Xbox Cloud Gaming is the latest addition to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And to be fair, if you're in the mood for some mobile gaming, it's probably worth the money on its own. But that isn't all you get, not by a long shot. Ultimate gets you access to both the console and PC Game Pass libraries, each of them heaving with over 100 titles. And coming later this year, it'll also include EA Play games, which are being included to add even more games to the library. We can't wait for some small screen Sims action. And you get an Xbox Live Gold subscription, so you can play with friends online, and a load of exclusive discounts, and a monthly package of perks for your favorite games and beyond, and free games with gold to keep. Whew, it's a lot, basically. So there you have it, Xbox Cloud Gaming in all its glory. What are you waiting for? Go, get playing. But make sure you hit that like button and check your sign up to get notifications for all our latest videos because there is plenty more good stuff on the way. We'll see you next time, bye.